Hey guys, even here, and this is Dexter Jackson at 4 weeks out of Tampa Pro. He looks freaking impressive. He definitely does look very impressive. He is big, he is full, he is shredded, and I think this is going to be one of the best shapes that he brought in the past couple of years. It's probably not going to be better than 2015. That was a really good shape. But maybe, maybe, I wouldn't be too surprised. I mean, this guy is known for surprising us every single year. And after a couple of years of following him, I know better today than to doubt him. It happened so many times that people sign him off. People said he is done, he has a weakness, his arm is looking smaller, his legs are getting smaller as well, and so on and so forth. But every time people start doubting him, he comes better. Nobody expected him to be second at the Mr. Olympia 2015. I mean, this guy is a freaking vampire. That's the best nickname for him, not Blade, the vampire of bodybuilding. He keeps making improvements at the age of 49. 49, guys, he's gonna be 50 this year, in a few months, like six months or so. And uh, I wouldn't be too surprised if he won the Mr. Olympia this year. It's up for the grabs, just like the banner says. It's up for the grabs and Dexter knows that. And yeah, he's 49, almost 50, but you know, I wouldn't be too surprised. I would be blown away. I would be blown away. You can imagine me screaming here and yelling after he actually wins that. But I wouldn't be too surprised because it's possible. You don't have a dominant champion right now who needs to be knocked out. No, we don't have that. We have just Sean Roden, who is the Mr. Olympia, maybe one time Mr. Olympia. We'll see about that. And we have a bunch of other guys who are all great, but Dexter beat them all before. And yeah, he's getting older, but guys, don't doubt him. Don't doubt him. He can make progress probably for the next 10 years or 20 years or maybe even forever. <laughs> maybe he's just not aging at all. We'll see what happens. And this Tampa Pro in four weeks, he has very big chances to win that show. And the only guy that can challenge him would be Big Ramy. But is Ramy competing? That's the question. And this is the video, the most recent video of him that he uploaded yesterday. And you can see him training very hard. So he's training with a purpose. He's not just maintaining his... Um, muscle mass, he's training definitely to improve himself and he's wearing a hoodie, he's all covered up, he doesn't show us his muscle and his conditioning so we're not sure if he's doing it but based on a couple of shots that we saw of him uh, training in his t-shirt he does look in decent condition. Is this four weeks out condition? We cannot be sure about that, we cannot be sure about that but if he comes and if he comes shredded he has very big chances to beat Dexter Simply because of the, again, I don't want to say it, but because of the age. Big Remy doesn't have any big disbalances like Dexter does with his arms. Uh, big Remy's arms are very symmetrical, very big, full, developed. He's fresh, he's young. He's not matured enough yet, but it was enough to beat Dexter, the Mr. Olympia. But that was not 100% Dexter. Uh, this year at Tampa Pro, at least, you're going to see much better Dexter. I'm pretty sure about that. He's going to have bigger, bigger legs, that's for sure. Hopefully, better arms. But anything can happen, really. We don't know if Big Ram is even doing Tampa Pro. We're not sure how Dex is going to look like. And we're not sure if you're going to see a newcomer, somebody else completely, who shows up in great shape and takes the title. Anyways, this is it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it. And if you want to say something about this whole situation, what do you think? How will Dexter do at the Tampa Pro? Do you think he can beat Big Ramy? Do you think Big Ramy is competing at the Tampa Pro? Whatever is your take, tell me down below. I read all the comments, guys. There is a lot of comments. And right now, YouTube is my full-time job. I quit my whole job and this is all I do right now because the channel is growing. It's growing nicely and I'm happy because of that. So thank you very much, guys, for the support. Make sure to let me know what you think about this situation down below. I'll make sure to read all the comments and to reply to some of them. So thanks once again and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.